Hello and welcome to Action Teacher Video. Video is a powerful tool that teachers are using to reflect on their own practice and to communicate new ideas. And in this series, we feature videos produced by teachers themselves and discuss the contents and implications here in the studio. In this programme, we'll be looking at an innovative approach to PSHE and citizenship teaching in Kings Meadow Comprehensive School, captured on camera by teacher Catherine Stevenson and called Can I Be Teacher? I'm delighted to be joined in the studio by Catherine Stevenson. Catherine, hello and welcome to the programme. Thanks, Anthea. Joining Catherine is another teacher with some similar experiences and concerns from Merkiston Castle School, Gail Cordner. Hello, Gail. Hello. And I'm delighted also to introduce a consultant who has been involved with the Teacher Video Project from the start, Adrian Jones. Hello. Hello. Firstly, Catherine, I wonder if you could give me a little bit about the background to your video. What were the aims behind this particular? It thing? was, in fact, to look at citizenship orders. Where were the gaps? How can we address it? And one of those gaps was within active citizenship and taking rights and responsibilities seriously. Welcome to Kings Meadow Community School in Gateshead. I'm Catherine Stevenson and I'm Head of Religious Education and Guidance, which includes citizenship, drug and health education, as well as many other subjects which are goes under that umbrella. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about our student educator program at this wonderful school of ours. This is a student educators meeting. We can sit in and listen to them evaluate past lessons in order to plan future ones. I believe that the PowerPoint was quite good, so I think we should do that again. Well, how about, because we use the teacher's plan and lesson resources, so why don't we try and then make it all up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so. Yeah. So did we enjoy the lesson? Well, yes, because the lads taught us quite a lot of things. Because it was exciting, it was funny, and it just was enjoyable. In this scene, this is an example of a Year 7 group discussing local government. Well, I think we should have more things for kids to do with the kids are This was organised by student educators in one of our l for l days, a citizenship day. A Year 9 girl, who is seen with the group, is to become a student educator and so she is learning the ropes by recording the discussion. So consider the ways the local government could help us. Some of the ways the local government could help us. Education. Health. Road. Environment. And police force. And many more. This is a democracy. We are now going to take a vote. The following scenes are an insight into the interviewing of each other and year seven pupils whom they have taught. This is to establish the strengths and weaknesses of their teaching strategies. Well, I think we should improve PowerPoint. And why do you think that? Because we need like more colour and more animation and definitely more pictures. More colour, more animation, more pictures. Got that. That's Thank you, Robert. What do you think you've learned this whole experience? Well, I think I've learned that I make my own PowerPoint presentation when it's needed. Um, how do you think the teachers feel? Well, no, I think they find it rather difficult just to organise one lesson. It takes quite a long time you know, to organise one lesson. So do you know how they feel now? Yeah. What have These two year nine girls are preparing to be student educators. Taking photos and I've learned how to prepare for our lesson. What, is, what skills have you learned and you understand now what teachers... Finally, we have three boys who are evaluating how being a student educator has raised their achievements, both academically and pastorally, in and out of school. I think I've learned a lot through this um, I've gained confidence and self-awareness and self-esteem. So I'm really proud with what I've done. And as we say, we have made our own PowerPoint. 
we have done just about everything on our own apart from the plan, yeah. which I am very proud of. Danny, how about you? Mike, what about you? What are you learning from this experience? That I can teach whenever I want it. And you don't feel embarrassed or anything? Not really, no. Would you say overall I'm more enjoying the experience? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Meadow Community School will definitely go from strength to strength as we learn how to help our pupils progress and develop as good citizens, not just of now, but also in the future. We will be developing our programme, and not just through citizenship, of course we do it in RE, but there are many other subject areas that do help our students become good people of the future, which is what we want locally and nationally in this world. Thank you for listening to us and thank you from all at Kings Meadow Community School in Gateshead. It was good to see the students taking on a teacher's role, but how do you choose the students? Do they all have a go and how do they prepare? They volunteered once they, once they were aware of what it was and anybody else who wanted to join in was very welcome and that has happened. Our numbers have increased since, not just from pupils they've taught, but we just got around school and some year nine pupils would like to, to do the same. We didn't see any teachers in that piece of film. Does that mean that the students took the responsibility on themselves for all the filming? Um, I wasn't always present. Sometimes it would be the technicians, sometimes it would be the three boys whom you saw at the end of the programme, and they organised their own conversations and sometimes their own meetings. Gail, what do you think about giving the students a voice? How important is it? I think it is important. I think more and more schools have to listen to the people's views. We have pupil forums, for example, where pupils can raise issues either on a year group level or on a whole school level. And in the same way as parents have become involved in schools, I think more and more we're starting to listen to the pupil opinion. And what did you learn? I'm interested to know what you, you learnt from it, because obviously the children learnt a lot. But what did you learn? Well, first of all, my role as a guidance coordinator I learnt some of the strategies whereby I can actually look at these citizenship orders, which were quite new to me at one point. So I've become more familiar with the citizenship role within school and how to deliver it. The following scenes are an insight into the interviewing of each other and year seven pupils whom they have taught. This is to establish the strengths and weaknesses of their teaching strategies. Well, I think we should improve PowerPoint. And why do you think that? Because we need like more colour and more animation and definitely more pictures. More colour, more animation, more pictures. Adrian, it's good to see students self-evaluating in this way. Mm, and actually developing an understanding of what it must be like to be a teacher. Empathy um, was very important yes. at that point. They then began to realise the amount of work that teachers actually put into just one lesson, not just the planning, but also the resources. And at the end of it, an evaluation has to take place as to what was actually learned. In this case, it wasn't just the students they were teaching, they were the ones who were also learning and realised that we as teachers were also learning as we go from day to day. What do you think they learned about themselves as peer educators? Partly, I would agree with the, one of the evaluations the boys gave at the end of the programme. He said that he had gained in confidence and he was very enthusiastic about taking part in the first place and obviously rather nervous. But the same student has volunteered to take in part in our Gateshead Youth Assembly elections. He's going to have the rosettes and take part in the hustings and why he should be voted in. And he will be facing a large audience to see why he is the one. I don't think some months ago he would have had the confidence to do that. What, is, what skills have you learned? Do you understand now what you... Finally, we have three boys who are evaluating how being a student educator 
has raised their achievements both academically and pastorally in and out of school. I think I've learned a lot through this experience. Um, I've gained confidence and self-awareness and self-esteem. So I'm really proud with what I've done. And as we can see, as we have made our own PowerPoint, we have done just about everything on our own apart from the plan. Catherine. Do you think peer education is appropriate for all levels? Certainly it can be attempted. I have taken a modest ability group in year seven and tried it with, the, with this group quite successfully. Obviously there's some children who will not want to take part and share because they do have perhaps some, some problems and issues addressing others, they lack the confidence. But sometimes in some small way they can actually contribute to the lesson because one of their own peers is standing in front of them they're more likely to answer not always but i've found that many of them have gained that little bit of extra confidence so for the pupils who are actually receiving the education from the peer teachers um, how do they respond they've actually started to contribute themselves to what they would like to see in the lesson and on asking them myself and from the written evaluations that they did at the end of LD, they enjoyed the lesson, which is very important now that there is enjoyment. And also they did learn, especially about the importance of voting and in voting locally. And actually, at this point, Gail, what do you think about, or from what you've seen about peer education, do you think it's something that you could adopt in your school? Certainly, I think it looks really good, certainly in the confidence building, also in taking responsibility. And perhaps if they weren't all involved up front, some of them could be involved in helping plan the structure of the lesson or create some of the resources for the lesson, I think it would be really useful. How do you think the video is going to help you and maybe your colleagues in the future? For myself, I can look at it again, evaluate, see where I can take student educators a step further. For other staff, it would be very useful on our teaching and learning evenings. It could also be used to promote our school, what we're actually doing to help produce good citizenship within our area. Do you think it can work across other subjects too? Well, it already has. I've said I've taught this in RE. I've also used it in history and in geography. I know it's part of other areas of the curriculum. Discussion is a very important issue at the moment within schools so that we have teamwork, we have fulfilling of different roles and that brings in citizenship again, taking our roles within groups and contributing in some way. Well, I think that's a good point to end on, but I'm sure that this will provoke much more discussion. You can, of course, find out more from our website at teachers.tv. It only remains for me to say thank you to our teacher producer, Catherine Stevenson, and guest Gail Cordner, and of course, Adrian Jones. Please join us again on Action Teacher Video, and in the meantime, from me, Xanthi Steen, goodbye.